What's up, bitches? Okay, so I'm gonna react to uh, a new artist for me, kind of. Her name is uh, Slater. And she's kind of like one of those pop bitches that all the gays love for some weird reason. I have listened to three of her songs. Unfortunately, I'm really tired because of uni, but I'll try to bop to this as much as I can because, you know, this is like my community. Everyone listens to this bitch and I don't know who she is. So I need to, I need to get woke. If you enjoy watching this video, make sure you like it and subscribe to my channel for more reviews and maybe something different in the future. Who knows? So I'm going to link my social media in the description below and of course over here. And actually for this video, I'm going to rate the songs. Uh, the first one is Submissive Power Bottom. About this kind of track, she's going to bring you to all the Britney Spears themed gay club parties in town wearing high heels and a Jeffree style worthy makeup. Then we're gonna have Needy Sugar Babies. So about these kind of tracks, their sugar daddies are always out for work. So they are always lonely at home, drinking their problems away with red wine. And of course they have daddy issues. Then we have a uh, cisgender verse. You could say they like going to straight clubs. I mean, like, they don't mind as long as they wake up in bed the morning after with the sheets covered in glitter. By the way, I'm, I'm just coming up with the descriptions about all of these. I, I knew the names already because I, I wrote them down, but I didn't really come up with the description, so I'm making them up at the moment. And then we have Kinky Discreet Tops. Uh, so with these songs, I think you could say that they have an aversion for, you know, over-the-top gays, unless you're cross-dressing for sex, then they won't even be hesitant to choke you during it. And finally, we have Dom Mask Top. These songs you would only be able to find at pubs with drinking with their straight friends, chanting football teams songs, or you can find them at the gym on Grinder, and they are ready to have some fun before they take a shower or something like that. So yeah, I'm gonna rank each song and it's just funny. I don't know why I came up with that, but you know, we'll see how the songs sound like and we'll see. First song I've actually heard before is called BFF and it features Aisha Erotica. I guess that's her name. <laughs> So much fun. <laughs> I don't remember it being like this. Like the production on this shit is fucking fire. I, I wasn't even looking forward to this because I was so tired, like doing this reaction, but that shit pumped me up. This is definitely a submissive power bottom. The rating doesn't mean that it necessarily is a good song or better than the other one. It's just a weird ass rating, you know, so. You're my best friend till the fucking world ends. All the boys love to flirt. <gasps> yes, this is serving me Paris and Lindsay Lohan and Britney Spears in that fucking car in the early 2000s. Was she thinking about that when she wrote this? Because, oh my God, that's literally like, I'm picturing that in my mind. <laughs> this is so powerful. In our mini skirts, drinking champagne till till it hurts. Oh my god, yes! I hope the whole album is like this, though. I know the second track as well. It's called, uh, Mine. Let's go. to them on the speaker 
these instrumentals are just so infectious and I think this is more of a cisgender verse to me because it's more about getting with that guy, you know, it's more about bringing him home and just live it up for one night, you know what I mean? So the next track is called Alone. <laughs> Why she sounds like Britney Spears in this. What is happening? What the f- I started to grasp, you know, the beat of the song after one minute. Uh, baby, you just look so lame. You tried to repair what you broke, but you slipped up again. And you ran away back home. Yeah, I definitely see this as a needy sugar baby. Because of how she, you know, she's stirring up all this drama. Just for a boy. Totally a needy sugar baby. Next track is called Candy. Let's see what it's all about. It feels like I just had the kinkiest, dirtiest sex in my life. It's, my hair is all fucked up. I love it when it gets so handsy. It tastes sweet like candy. This is giving me brew candy and a lot of cupcake. 100% submissive power bottom. I don't even have to explain why. So the next song is called Cha Chang. <laughs> This was actually much less intense than the others. Spit is running out of your face and you're still foaming. What? Oh no, no, so sorry. Please and thank you with a cherry. Mwah. What? I think this will fall into uh, Needy Sugar Baby as well. This song is just, you know, it's her bragging about her money. She doesn't even know she got it. She just knows that she has it. There's that need to brag that all the needy sugar babies have, otherwise they wouldn't be sugar babies in the first place. So that's definitely one of them. So this next track is called Devil. I'm scared. She bringing me to hell. Oh, she is. Yes, Brittany. I just get it. it gives me a lot of Britney Spears vibes. Oh, I like that. Where is you bringing me? Britney Spears screaming for help from the mental hospital. I like that. 
They say I'm toxic, you can handle it, full of poison, baby. Take a sip, drag you right back down to hell with me. And go escape while you've got your dignity. No sugar or spice, and I never play nice. I already have the ratings. I'm only at the pre-chorus, and I already know what this is. I'm known to entice stupid boys all the time. This is literally... The more I go on, the more I feel like that rating system that I created, it's perfect for this album. Kinky, discreet top. That's it for you. Baby, let's play a game. Watch me drive you insane. That's it. That's literally it. So the next track is called Your Man. I'm through, bitch. Then she brings out of nowhere this early 2000s pop track. That was genius. So we've all been in that situation where someone else's man just comes up to you and he starts flirting and you go for it because that's not your problem, right? You know, that's what she's doing, you know. I would say this is a submissive power bottom song because I know a lot of them have that problem with those, you know, toxic masculine dudes. I'm 100% sure that most submissive power bottoms would listen to this and relate to this. So the next song is called Daddy As Fuck, I've already listened to it, so... have the first Dom mask top song of the bunch. She been fucking models, she been popping bottles. So the next song is called Motorcycle. <laughs> to your love seat, I want rock and rollers, I want rolling stoners, I'll give you head in your car while you're doing donuts? Wait, what? So, this is for those grungy, submissive, power bottoms types. Definitely a favorite. So the next song is called Celebrity, and it features Donatachi. <laughs> obvious what this song is about like the previous track ching i guess i would have to say needy sugar baby so the next song is called uh, tattoo <laughs> sounds just made me feel like I was you know getting covered in glitter 
yeah, this is about, you know, not wanting something to end, I guess. So you just want to make it last forever. This clingy kind of behavior is kind of like, it's giving me a lot of cisgender verse vibes. But honestly, also a lot of needy sugar baby. When the sugar daddy is away, so you meet with new people without him knowing and you know, that's what happens, you know, you actually find true love and you can't really have him because you either get the money or the good dick, so... so the next track is called E-Boy featuring That Kid. <laughs> If I have to be fully honest, I don't know what I was listening to. Like, it was a hot mess. But in a good way. Well, this is definitely about cyber sex, you know, being a cam boy and a cam girl and all that shit. Totally never done that before. I think I'm gonna go with Kinky Discreet Top. Because it's something that they would do, you know, just go on chat roulette and whatever that shit is called and jerk off there. So the second to last song of this album is called Touch My Body. <laughs> A night out and getting the boy you like home and just letting him touch your body and shit like that. So I would say submissive power bottom. I don't, I can't come up with anything else, honestly. I really love the chorus of this song. It just, it's so explosive, it's insane. And after that bridge... So, the last song of this album is called Ghost T -t -t Triple T. <laughs> Yeah, um, not my favorite either, but I, I, I was starting to enjoy the You were just a ghost, baby, where you go? I'd say once again, Needy Sugar Baby or Cisgender Verse, just because they both have that just reminisce of old things, of old flames and stuff like that. So, that was Slater by Slater. It was a very interesting album, I really enjoyed it. I it was very dancey, very intense, it gave me a fucking headache. Overall, I really enjoyed it. 
So my favorite tracks are BFF, Candy, Devil was fucking insane, Motorcycle, holy shit, and Tattoo for now. I think they really did stand out from the rest, to be honest. Overall, I think it's a very cohesive album. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you liked the video. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment and all that shit that you already know. Bye-bye, guys.